Lauren, I saw the topic of your rant. Hmm. Go for it. Deirdre Pike, are you watching? Watch. Deirdre's my friend. I know she is. So, it seems to be subsiding a bit, but with the beginning of the Winter Olympics in Sochi, that the narrative was certainly more about Russia and their policies towards gay rights than it was, in terms of my ears and eyes, about our athletes and otherwise. I am an ally of the queer community. I, I, I couldn't be more supportive at a local level, at an international rights level, but I don't understand what has happened. Why that, that these Olympics have been mashed into this, this gay issue. That first, Hamilton has representation in these games. That we have Hamiltonians um, who are actually over there right now. And are we hanging the rainbow flag in their honor? I don't know if they're gay or not. I'm sure that they are athletes and they're Olympians. Whether they're boy Olympians or girl Olympians or whether they're straight or gay Olympians, they're Olympians. To me, they're Olympians and their sexuality is not important. So hanging an Olympic flag honoring Hamilton's and, and our regional Olympians would have made sense to me. But to suggest that Russia doesn't have the right level of respect for, for gay rights and otherwise, well, obviously, Russia's a terrible place. But Russia is, is gentle compared to the vast majority of the world in terms of their persecution of gays. So what it is that's actually at issue right now is that the Russian government is making it illegal to distribute pro-gay propaganda, and that's their verbiage and not mine. It is not illegal to be gay in Russia. It is illegal soon, maybe, to promote a gay agenda in Russia. That's nothing compared to the vast majority of the Middle East, where you will be imprisoned at best and murdered often for being a homosexual. Various parts of Africa, they will kill you under suspicion of being gay. I don't hear the city of Hamilton caring about gay rights. I feel that this city is, is a bandwagon jumper the same way, and I don't mean to mix subjects here. Now everybody on social media is an expert on special education. And I'm sure in two weeks we won't care about that again either. We need to understand who in Russia is and where the gay world is, depending on what it is. So I support gay rights worldwide. Russia's a bad place, but come on, enough, enough bandwagon jumping. Thank you. I couldn't disagree with you more. Good. And here's why. You know, I don't usually do a rant to follow up on one of yours, but I think it absolutely needs to be said. Why is Sochi all about rights? Rights for people who are born to be gay, people who are queer, transgendered, bisexual, people who are not heterosexual. Why is the Sochi Games all about that? Because Russia, the host country, decided to make it known what they were looking at legislatively and how they treated gays. And even the mayor of Sochi said there were no gays in their town. And when I hear people say, hey, it's better in Russia than it is in, say, Uganda, which there's a global yes. day to stop what's happening possibly with the legislation in Uganda, well, you know what? That's just not good enough, nor is it entirely true. I saw a documentary yesterday. I couldn't get through the first minute of it. It was about actual rogue gangs of vigilantes in Russia who, with impunity, hunt down gay people and beat them badly and do terrible things to them. This is a documentary that was produced by a British newspaper. So to say that it's just about not getting out gay propaganda, I think, is a little bit of nonsense. I know that you're smarter than that. It is about saying that these people are not equal, that they are not good enough, and that they are under threat in the country that they live in. A country that decided to host the world. So guess what, Russia? The world is there, and we care. And to put up a gay pride flag on our city hall is to say in peaceful protest that takes nothing away from our athletes, put up a Canadian flag, put up an Olympic flag, put up a pride flag to say, you know what, our athletes our countries participating in a global event, an event that is saying that people who are born differently are not good enough. Gay rights is the civil liberties issue of our generation. And when the mayor in Toronto said, I want the flag down because the Olympics is not about sexual preference, 
Correct. It's not about preference. It's a state of being. If he understood that, he'd have no issue with the flag being up. Imagine if a uh, president of a host Olympic Games said, oh, by the way, if you happen to be dating or married an athlete, if you're dating or married to somebody of a different race, eh, watch out. We're not saying you can't come, but we're not exactly going to be happy with you. That was the civil rights issue of the 1960s. We fought that, and it's ludicrous now that anyone would be discriminated against for having an interracial relationship or marriage. The fact that we're discriminating against people who are born a certain way. Uh, it's not about preference, it's a state of being. And I'm proud that Hamilton is hanging this flag. It's not a bandwagon move. It is a global elevation of human rights. Human rights well uh, uh, beyond. Nah, uh, I still if, support our athletes, if, that's why I'm wearing red. If you jump on, if you jump on mine. I didn't jump on yours, I used my rant time to rebut. Absolutely, but, but if okay. I can, like a tiny little piece, right. it is, Russia is a bad place. You wouldn't want to be Muslim there, based on all the hatred towards Muslims in the borders of Russia. Putin, made, the this, Putin made it about gay rights when he brought this up, and that's why the gay community was looking at a boycott of Sochi months ago. The fact that we are globally there, that Canada is supporting these Olympic Games, we support the rights of every human being in this country, and I'm proud that we are letting Russia know, along with other like-minded countries in the world, that what they're doing there is not okay, and that our athletes, all athletes, deserve to be treated with the same level of human dignity and respect. And that goes for the mayor of Toronto as well. What's your suggestion? about bringing down that flag because it's not about sexual preference is so wrong-minded it's mind-boggling but it is Rob Ford.